Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. And as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Um, I would love to hear who's all on with me today. And I am not streaming over on my regular Facebook page. Unfortunately, there's something going on with Facebook and StreamYard. So it's not allowing me to stream over on my main Facebook page, but it allowed me in my group page. So I'm over there and I'm on um, YouTube. So um, I'm so happy that you guys are joining me today. I'll have to share my live over on my regular Facebook page when that time comes. So, um, but today we are going to work with, um, so actually I was going to show you my ornaments for Monday, but I brought them outside for a little mini photo shoot and that's where they are. They're over in my studio and right now I'm in my shipping area. So what we're going to use today is we are using, we're making, um, so my friend Becky sent me a image that she saw over on Pinterest. And that is what inspired today's video or today's live is she's like, doesn't this remind you of the IOD folk art, Pennsylvania folk stamp and the primitive mold? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it does. And it's so cool. So um, anyway, so I decided to break out both the um, Pennsylvania folk stamp and the primitive mold. And we are going to use a bunch of these that I cut last year. Um, my husband went out into the North woods of Wisconsin. And, uh, if you have followed me for a while, you'll know that what they do up North is they do a lot of like uh, clear cutting where they'll clear cut a section. It's actually really good for the forests, but then they leave a lot of the excess wood and it all just like decays. And, and so he went in and he found me a bunch of logs um, for this project. So I went and I just took my saw and I cut, I think it's about like maybe three quarters of an inch to, a, I think about three quarters. I had a little mark on my saw and I just kept on taking the um, log and moving it to that spot and then just kept on. So they were all approximately the same thickness. I did let them dry pretty thoroughly over, um, I would say like a couple weeks, I let them dry very good, brought them inside. And then I painted half of them with a little black round. And then I painted the other half with white. And I just on that, I think I used just some black and white paint that I had lying around. So nothing special at all. Um, but yeah, just whatever I had laying around. So that is what we're using today. So let's see here who we have on. Um, looks like we have D from Arizona. Hello, hello. We have Kathy, Penny, Mariah from Massachusetts. Uh, Stephanie, um, good morning, everyone. And thank you so much for joining me. Um, I feel so bad that I could not get Facebook up. So um, I don't know if I can try to add. I don't know if I can try to add. Um, I'm, well, it's trying right now. So maybe, maybe, um, it looks like I just went in and I, I tried to add my regular Facebook page. So it says it's, it's a green check mark. So Facebook, if you guys are um, out there, um, looks like, yeah, it looks like I uh, was able to attach now to the Facebook. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'm watching on Facebook. Yes. All right, so um, I was having problems connecting to Facebook, and so I'm glad that you guys are all connected. Perfect. Um, all right, so like I said, what we're using is the Primitive Mold um, and then the Pennsylvania Folk Stamp, and we are going to make some ornaments with these wood rounds. You guys, I have a, a bunch of them. I I like to do things in bulk. So when I am, I just don't like cutting a couple little bits of uh, wood um, and then just use them. 
what I like to do is I do like an assembly line. So I just go and I just cut away, cut all my wood. I let them all dry. I paint them all. And then I have a lot of stuff in my stash ready to go for, um, you know, future projects like today. All right. Um, oh, hey, Catherine. She says, going to watch you or try while I give or while I glue and glitter cedar picks. Okay. That sounds like a mess, Catherine. <laughs> glitter and glue. It does not sound good. Hello, Susan. I can't hear you because I am in a line, but hello from Magic Kingdom. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Thanks for joining. And it just says Facebook users. So I can't see who you are, but thank you for joining. And she's at Magic Kingdom, which is even better. Um, so we have Kim from Northern Illinois and hello, Corrine. Um, oh, Corrine says she loved the Santa paintbrushes. I know I was like going to grab them and show you guys. And then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I brought them out into my studio where I have like the best lighting and my like little display area where I um, go ahead and, you know, do a lot of my photos. And then I forget to grab them for in here, but it has been raining like crazy here in Wisconsin. And with it being so wet outside, I was like, the molds didn't dry as quick. Normally, like I did those molds on Monday night. I thought for sure I'd get up Tuesday and they'd be totally dry. They were still like wet. So I did, um, I let them dry all day yesterday because that's why I didn't show you yesterday what they look like. And then by late last night, they were dry enough where I felt like I could paint them and do stuff. And then I'm like, well, I don't know what, I kind of like the handles more plain. And then I added that ribbon. So if you guys, I have my ribbon holder over there, tons of different ribbons. I love collecting all different ribbons. And um, I put uh, some decorative ribbon and I just thought that was perfect. And I thought they were super cute. So very simple to do um, and just a great project to do with the kiddos. So, all right. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, looks like Kathy says, good morning um, from another gloomy day here in Minnesota. Oh, I know it's, um, I don't know if it's raining yet. I was trying to look outside, but um, we had, I don't know if you guys have been following along long enough to know that I keep talking about TDS coming to our neighborhood. They have officially came. Well, when they did, they drilled some holes into our driveway and down like, so basically they have to replace all of this concrete. And because they had these huge holes drilled into our, uh, <laughs> into our driveway. And finally, they're like, yep, we're gonna come back and fix it. Well, they the crew's completely left. They have not fixed it. And then now um, we contacted the city of Appleton and they sent out somebody. And so now the crew is coming out, but it's been rain. It was supposed to be fixed this week. It's been raining like nonstop. And they were, the guy stopped this morning and said, we have to have it done by Monday. At Monday is the very last day the city of Appleton will allow any concrete pours. So we have to have it done. So we'll be out by either Friday or Monday to fix your, um, your apron. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, so I'm, uh, very excited, but the rain needs to stop is my hope. The moral of the story. Um, Randy says, winter storm here in North Dakota. It's snowing. Oh my gosh, not yet. And we're supposed to get a minimum of eight inches. It's a great day for crafting. Yes. Oh, Rondi. Sorry, Rondi. I said Randy. I apologize. Rondi. Oh my Lord. Um, yes. Hunker down. Um, I was just going through like a bunch of reels and a memory came up of this past winter when we ended up getting so much snow. And I did a photo of, I think I did a reel of my dog and then a photo of my studio. And it was just like a winter wonderland. And that is going to be in a couple months. Oh, typically around the end of November into December is when we end up getting our very first snow. Oh, I can't even think about it. Uh, Amanda says, I was born there. So beautiful. I go back to see family often. Now I'm in Florida. Oh, uh, Stephanie says, I'm playing with styrofoam pumpkins. I cut out a door and, and windows. I'm putting trim around them and adding a door, lights, moss, etc. I know I'm late with Halloween. Maybe I'll make a Christmas pumpkin. 
<laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I, that was all of our intros. We got everything going. Let's go ahead and I'm going to switch the camera over. Let's see. Okay. Let's get going here. I just want to straighten this out a tad. I'm going to move the light a bit just because it seems like it's a little bright. Is it too dark? Or I think that's better. I don't know. All right. So what we're going to need for today's project is a bunch of wood rounds. Um, and what I thought about doing is on the black ones... And what you're going to find with wood rounds that there's like, even though there's always like sawdust and wood, so just wipe it off a little bit. Um, but what I was thinking is taking the white ink and stamping a design on here and painting on the black to make the, it more colorful. So using the stamps on the black and then the um, either do that. I also have the um, gray. Uh, the charcoal gray color or stone gray, I think is what it is called from IOD. We can stamp that or, I mean, on both of them too, we can do the molds. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this so I can still see comments. And, oh, I, I can't see who the Facebook user is, but um, they said, made your paintbrushes yesterday. So cute. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, Vicki says, wow, I caught you live. Good morning. Uh, Danger says, I'm in North Carolina. We've been having a co uh, having cold weather and tomorrow till later this week, we are having 80 to 85 weather. It's crazy. So you guys, we got up in like the seventies yesterday and today it's still very warm. And then the bottom is going to drop out. It's going to go into the thirties. We're having frost warnings and it's kind of crazy. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And I haven't even done my yard cleanup because you know, my back, but I'm just going to have to get some warm clothes on there and get out there. All right. So these little rounds make kind of a mess. So let's start, we'll start with, we'll do this second, the molds. Let's stamp the first ones. Or maybe we should do the molds first, let them dry a bit. How about, uh, let's do the stamp. Let's do the stamps first. All right. So let me, so I, if you guys don't already, these envelopes are amazing to house your stamps from IOD. I love them. I initially bought them. I wasn't even going to offer them to you guys. I was just buying them initially for my, for me. And then I loved them so much that I was like, I have to offer them to you guys too. So they are out on my website and available along with all this, this stuff we're using. Okay. So, oh, I like that. Okay, so I always take my thin mounts and I cut them up into a bunch of different sections. And I had a bunch of ink on this. I know last time when we were crafting together, someone said, you might want to get some new thin mounts. But what I discovered was that the a baby wipe um, cleans these up too really nice. So I thought it did. But... It's fine. So let's go ahead. And I saw this one that I really liked. So the first stamp set that we're using, like I said, is called Pennsylvania Folk. And a while ago when this first came out, you guys, I did do a live on this. And um, I'm going to do one with black. I'm going to use the same stamp and then I'll use one with the white. So let's do the white first. But um yeah, I did a, a live and I created a breadboard with this when it first came out and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Okay. Hey, Debbie. Debbie from LZ Lane Boutique is on you guys. Hello. Hello. Awesome. 
All right. Let's see, Kim says, I love the the tree wood rounds, obsessed with them. I know I do too. All right. Susan says, not only are they great for storing the stamp sets, but they work well for 12 by 12 papers and scrap paper pieces. Oh, good point. Okay. So I used the white IOD permanent ink and I put that on that one. I'm just going to wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. And then I'm going to stamp the black on this one. And then we're going to get painting. You guys, I've been so busy this morning. <laughs> I'm like, I was going to brainstorm like what I was going to actually do. It's it's all on the fly today. It, well, most of the time my lives are pretty on the fly. So. All right. So let's go ahead and and then since cranberry fast, you guys, I misplaced my black ink pad. Like I always say to myself, son it. If I was Sonnet, where would I put my black ink pad? And I'm like, I'm not going to make another one. I know that I have my black ink pad somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know where. So we're using stone gray today, which is totally fine. All right. Okay. So I am breaking out some of, of the smaller paint brushes here too. Uh, Debbie says, that looks fun. I haven't created anything in five days. I need to do something today. Oh my gosh. Yes. You definitely need to do something today, Debbie, because creating is so fun. That's why I love doing these lives because I get to create twice a week on a live. Well, and then for my videos too, but, and I love getting feedback from all of you on what I should do. So all right, I'm just going to put this back so I don't misplace it because I still have one stamp MIA from my last time when I did not put it back right away. And I it's probably sticking somewhere. If you guys remember correctly, on the bottom of the Huggies. <laughs> Whoops, that's where one of them went. Um, all right. Hello, Tara from the Reclaimed Ranch. Uh, we also have Helga from Spring Lake, Alberta. I love all your lives. Oh, thanks so much for joining. Um, let's see here. Corey, yeah. I able to make a quick step by before heading out for chores. All right. Um, Vicki says, hello, good morning. Guess what I'm doing? So excited. Awesome. All right. Let's talk about painting these. So... I was thinking, Rondi says, I did wood rounds this summer and put IOD transfers on them. Super cute. Mushroom flowers and fish. Oh, I love it. That would be perfect because these can be used for everything. But I just was like, wouldn't it be fun just to do something with the folk art stamps and the mold? So this one too would be perfect for the mold. I thought it would be fit really nice on there. You could also do like uh, some of the birds with the flower. So lots and lots of fun, but let's go ahead and start painting these. So I am going to grab what I have here, which, oh my, I'm missing my red. What would I have done with my red? I over oh, here. What would I have done with my red, you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. Only me. Only me. Put it right in front of my face and I can't find it. Um Oh, Vicky says she's putting in her initial DIY paint order. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. All right. Um so let's go ahead. I think with the black, let's add some white and we'll add a little bit of red. Um, and these are kind of fun too, because you guys, it's just like painting in between. It's like painting um, in between the lines. So let's see here. Um, okay. So if I do, let's say red here, we'll do white here. And uh I mean, they don't have to, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but um, this is so fun. So um, I would definitely recommend trying this at home. And I, what I've done with the dark ones too, like this is what I will paint it. 
I will let it dry and then come back and then re-stamp it. So um, it's so fun. All right. And let's see here. Um, <laughs> Tara says, need more coffee, Sada? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Did, yes. I have it right here. I have it right here. <laughs> you guys, it started this morning. I had to con call my um, accountant yesterday and, you know, schedule the time of year that I don't like. I don't know if any of you feel that way or if you guys love taxes. Not me. He, so I talked to him right before I went on this live and he's got me all flustered. I love him. I do. But I, I still get like, I swear I have post-traumatic stress disorder from taxes. I just, I am, I am a creative, you guys. I don't like, I mean, I love numbers. Do not get me wrong. I just don't like taxes. That's all. I just don't like taxes, I guess is a good way to put it. So it's all good though. All right. And I'm trying to talk and paint straight. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect at all. Um, Vicki said, if you guys have color suggestions, she'd be happy to listen. So are there colors that you guys love for the DIY paint? I love all the colors, but I think some of my favorites, um, I'm trying to think like, what are my favorite DIY colors? Um, Oh, Debbie goes, welcome to the team. All of the colors are good. They all sell well for me. Me too. Honestly, um, if you uh, showcase them, they will sell definitely. So I think I'm going to put white here in the center. I think that'll look really cool. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I like that. And then we're going to add some red. I think red... So this is kind of like, um, even though I have these painted black already, there the surface is a little porous, you know, a little bit. So um, it's hard to get exactly perfect, but that's okay. Awesome. I like it so far. What do you guys think? Oh, so Karen says, maybe it's my computer, but it's a little blurry. I can still see what's going on though. So it's not a huge deal. Love the project. Um, let me look. Maybe it's the lighting. Um, well, I let me raise it. Let me raise the light and see if that helps. I'm gonna raise the light and turn it a hair. I'm sorry if it's blurry, guys. I don't know why. I think maybe, or maybe it's this. Holy heck. That's adding a little bit of a glare. Okay, you want me to zoom in? I don't know if I can do that. That is as close as I can get to zoom in. Um, how's that? Is that a little bit better? How's that? <laughs> okay. All right. What sizes are the wood rounds? Um, these are about probably like I would say three inch. I don't, do I have my ruler? Um, I don't have my ruler in here. I would say about three or four inches. Okay. Better. Thanks. That's better. Okay. Perfect guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Okay. Uh, let me see as, okay. I zoomed in. All right. Uh, uh, looks like Debbie says taxes are stressful. I'd much rather paint me too. I get it. I'm techie. So my job is to support my creative clients and they hate the taxes and tech and all that stuff too. I know. Okay. Let's, I'm going to just wipe this off and then I'm going to dive into the red here. All right. I'm glad you guys told me that you're having a little bit of 
um, normally when I do stuff, it looks, it's better when it's up or up higher, but that's good. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to add some red now. So we started off by adding a bit of the vintage linen. Now we're going with marquee, which you guys know I love marquee. It is definitely one of my favorites. Um, so we're going to jump in with that. Let's see here. And I think I'm going to do the inside first. I was trying to like envision how I wanted this. <sighs> and perfect. Oh my gosh. I just remember when I first got my DIY paint order the very first time I wanted to just start painting right away. I just wanted to paint all the things because I was so excited to get you know, all the colors and you guys know how much I love DIY paint. All right. And now DIY paint is coming out with the painterlies, which they're very vibrant and bright. And then they can blend with all of the regular DIY clay based paints too. So that is super Super awesome. All right. And those will be, they're in on their way here, not to me, but to Debbie. And as soon as that she's got it, as soon as they are available, she's going to be starting to ship them out, you guys. So how exciting is that? Okay, let's see. How are we going to do this? I'm going to Add, and I want to add a little bit of red on the outside. And then I think I got to add some other color here because it's starting to me, it almost looks like an apple. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to the outside. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in with apothecary too. Um... Vicki says, I just want all the colors and it's not realistic. I know. I know. Oh, Karen says, this looks like a relaxing project. <laughs> it is. Um, it is actually a really relaxing project. You guys, you can get all creative with it. And um, so, yes. So now I'm just going to go in and I am going to add a little bit of red here and there. Like I'm going to do like maybe like every other, like a red. Or I could do like every three and add a little bit of white. Um, what do you guys think? Molly goes, I thought it was an apple. Yeah, it's a flower. I know. But as I started painting it, I'm like, I need to change this up. I need to make it look like something different because that's not really an apple. But I was trying to, I think once I restamp the white too, I think that's going to help. So, but it is, this is very relaxing, you guys. I have to figure out what color to add in. I think I'm going to add in a little pink. I think once I start adding in some other colors, I think it's going to help. I really do. The nice thing about when you stamp, paint, and then re-stamp is that even if you go out of the lines, it's totally okay. It's perfectly fine. It's just... Um, because it, it looks like art. Well, it is art, you guys... So it is definitely just a beautiful form of art. So quick question for you guys. So, um, you know, with me planning everything for, I know it's a year away, but I am in the midst of planning everything for my event in next October. Uh, for the demos, would you guys like something more hands-on where you could you know, be doing a project at the same time? Would you guys, would that be something that you'd be up for? Um, because that's where I was thinking that would be kind of fun. Then you could, you know, do projects. All right. How am I doing this? One, two. Okay. 
I just am trying to multitask. Um, oh, Molly, that's okay. That's okay. I actually thought the exact same thing as I'm painting this. I'm like, it looks like an apple. No, no worries. Um, Amanda says yes to the hands-on demos. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too. I thought, oh, that'd be so fun to to do something like that. So I have um, I have some ideas. Penny said she'd love that. Yes, then they can have a souvenir. Awesome. All right, perfect. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to add a little pink. This is kind of going out of my comfort zone here, but I'm trying to, I think we're going to add just a little pink here. I like it actually. And then we'll add a little bit of the apothecary. I think this will look good. Like I said, you guys, I'm just kind of grabbing what I have here at my fingertips, but I'm trying to make this look like a little flower. All right. And you can do whatever colors you have available. But I always like to grab, um, have a bit of a, especially if you're using like some darker color, like a darker red, a lighter like even when I paint my barn quilts, I always try to pick like a darker red than a lighter um, red or like a pink. It's a good color contrast. Makes things pop. So I had the petticoat pink here for my little Santa's nose and his little rosy cheek. So I thought, well, I might as well just use that. To add a little color contrast. Okay. White ink by IOD and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I have erasable white ink with IOD and I don't know what to do with it. I think the erasable is for like, if you want to create like, you know, different chalkboard signs and things like that, where you could stamp. Um, I think the reason that they have the erasable is that you can create like little fun signs and then erase it off if you'd like. Okay, so I, I was trying to look at this and Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. I'm gonna wipe this off and then I'm gonna go in, I better close up my white. It's gonna look like my pink. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with, I think a path carry. Um, and then maybe just add a little gypsy green here, down here maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see where this goes, all right. Love this for family night for everyone to have their own one on the tree. I think having hands on is great. It will make it like a great workshop as well. Yes, I agree. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you. Does IOD have permanent white ink? Yes. So what I just used here is the permanent white ink, or they call it actually um, mixing white. And that is so that um, you can actually create your own custom colors. So when I first did my lives, like when I first started, which was last year, can you guys believe that? That's how long it has been. Um, I actually went live and we created all kinds of fun custom colors. Uh, just to, we mixed a whole bunch of colors together and played around with it. So that was a ton of fun. Um, and because, you know, there's right now there's only certain colors for the stamps, but if you want it to create your own custom color, kind of like with, um, you know, the DIY paint too, you can create all kinds of fun custom colors for that too. But, um, but yeah, so I called, that was the evening that I find, I said, yep, tonight I'm a mixologist. 
and I was told that I wasn't a mixologist. A mixologist is actually a bartender, but I still consider myself a mixologist, you guys, because I mixed all kinds of custom colors that evening. It was fun. All right. Oh, I'm liking this now. Well, I did before too. All right. Could you seal the chalkboard ink with a spray top coat and then use it like you would regular ink? I would think so. I think that would work. I I mean, I totally think it would work. So if you use it, I would do that and just seal it with some type of top coat. Oh. All right. Oh my. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Every, but I'm liking it. I am really liking it. I think this is fun. Um, it's kind of, I should have probably thought about my color combinations before I sat down, but that's okay. I like this. I like these colors. They're very pretty. Some of my favorite colors I'm using in um, the ornament. Let's see here. When was that live? I would love to watch it. Um, it was a while ago. I, for a while, um, Facebook was a little, allowing me to add them to like a playlist. And I had a playlist of my lives out there. I don't, and then I tried, to, they changed a few things and then I couldn't figure out how to add them to play all my lives to that playlist. Um, but it was, I would say last summer, Trying to remember when I start. I started, it's been now a year since I've been doing, I started my lives, I think it was June of last year. And so I would probably imagine it was probably uh, August, somewhere along the line, because I was trying to do all different fun stuff, you guys. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do on my lives, and so it was perfect. Okay. That is awfully bright. So we're going to restamp it though. So it's going to look great. It will. And I think when I restamp it, I am going to restamp it with the, the gray over it. So it's going to really define it. So let's go ahead. And I want to add just a little bit of green to the stem because that's what this is. It's a flower. So I think I'm going to add a little green in here. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. I will look it up. Oh, thank you. She said, thanks for being so awesome. Oh, well, thanks. You guys are awesome for always tuning in as I work on different fun projects and try new things out. I know my husband still is like, I cannot believe <laughs> you go live half the time and you've never even done the project before. I'm like, oh, honey, it's all good. He's like, I just can't believe it. Like, it's like, don't you want to try it? I'm like, no. That way, if I run into problems, it's like firsthand. You guys experience it with me. Because it's not always perfect. All right. Let's see. So I just want to see if I'm missing anything. Nope. Looks like, oh, stuck that in there a little too far. Um, this will be your first shindig. Oh, yeah. This will be my first shindig, um, Vicki. So it will be fun. Um, and I plan on just, I think if it goes over really well, I definitely want to do it again and it'll probably just get better and better. And, um, a couple of my friends that, um, are participating. One gal just said, yep, you're just going to keep learning from it. And every year you'll just make it better and better. So I'm like, yes, yes, I will. Okay. So there's a lot of color there, but that's okay. So when I restamp it, that is when it's going to bring this all together. So I, I'm going to just dry it. Tara says, yeah, I hope it will be an annual thing. Yeah, I'm hoping too. It'll be awesome. 
Um, I also want to add um, like a, a food truck um, or like somebody with um, like food. And you guys, I have to tell you, I, I always am like in the evening as I wind down, I don't have a lot of time to typically like surf the internet or surf Facebook or what have you. Um, and I'm just going lightly with this because I don't want to start a fire. <laughs> Um, I stumbled upon this gal and she is from my area and she actually does pop-up shops and she does cupcakes and it is so very cool. So she created a custom recipe for this gal who wrote this book about cupcakes. I don't know. The storyline is like a cupcake or owner, like a shop owner. And so she created this custom recipe for that. Uh, long story short, she is like on a book tour right now and she's going all over on this book tour. And so she showed up and I was like, oh, that would be kind of fun to have somebody that did a pop-up shop like that. And it turns out oh, she's from around the area. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to reach out to her. I think that would be so cool. Um, and if she does a pop-up, and if you guys actually saw her cupcakes, they look amazing. Um, let's see here. Oh, Vicki says, I put some of the small gingers on wood rounds. I did the dog too. Fun. Oh, that would be awesome. You guys, that would look so good. Okay, so I re-inked. I'm going to line everything up um, the best that I can. I'm going to set it down. So you want to make sure your paint is dry before you do this. And I went in, like I said, with the stone gray versus the black. Okay, now I wish I did have the black. Oh, oh you guys, I don't know what I would have did with my, I have been searching for it. I know I put it. I always put it back where it belongs, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little light, but I want to show you. So you can see how it, I still think it looks good. But yes, I love how by re-inking, I think the black would just really make it pop. How could I have misplaced my black ink? <laughs> <gasps> that would be awesome, Susan. A signature cupcake for the, your pop-up, like a signature drink at a party. Oh my gosh, that is a good idea too. I love it. Um, What about doing it with someone loose to you who is a maker? Would that help bring in people, split the work? Oh, like doing my event? Yeah, I thought about that too, Um. But I decided, actually, I probably should have brought this down a bit, but I just decided that um, sometimes when you bring in multiple people, it can create havoc too. So um, what I'm doing is I am going to be the main individual that is doing it. And then a bunch of creators will all be part of it is what it's going to be. All right. So we're going to dry this. Oh, Dangerous is I don't have my glasses on, so I'm texting kind of crazy. Oh, that's okay. But it does kind of. I think I, I like this. I think it's going to, well, it's hard to see. Like, I feel like the doesn't even look like apothecary on the screen. It almost looks blue. Um, but I'll take some photos of it. But then after it completely dries, we are going to seal it with Big Top. And... I'm going to just do that right now. I just always load up my paintbrush. And we're going to just set that one aside. All right. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. I wonder if one of the little lines of the, the stone gray weren't dried. Um, it kind of looks like that, but that's okay. 
it's mine. It's for my, it's for my Christmas tree. Food trucks sound great. Win-win for everyone. Yeah. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's do a mold and see what this looks like with a mold. Let's see, what time is it? I have 15 minutes. I always try to keep this to an hour, you guys. I always try to keep to an hour. All right, so. Okay, so I really like, well, I like this one too. Um, I'm trying to think of how I could do this. Maybe if I add a, a tiny leaf in this, in here. Oh boy. Catherine said, Oh my Lord. I just saw the forecast for Halloween and they can get snow. Oh no. That's not good. Okay. Just want to make sure that you guys can see all of this. All right. And Oh, um, Eileen said, this is my first live with you. Yeah. Hey, Debbie. All right. So let's see, we're going to do this one. What other one did I, oh, this one. I, I just, I love this one. And we're going to try to, or I think this, I'm going to try that one and this one. I think that would look good on the white round. Okay. And let's check it out and see what it's going to look like. And we'll paint them before we put them on. Okay. I am wondering if the sides of the rounds need to be sealed. I haven't sealed the sides of the rounds just because they're not going to be outside or anything. But you could, I guess. Um, but in the past, when I have done these, um, I have not sealed the sides of the rounds. How authentic. It's got a little piece of wood in here already. <laughs> from the round. Um, and then what I will do after everything dries, I'll come in with, um, you can do it a couple ways. You can drill a hole on the top and use an eyelet up there. I like to just drill a hole and run a, a um, piece of twine through it. But again, it's really your preference and what you like to do or the look you're going for. Oh, look at that. All right. I think the lat, did, did I use, I don't know if I'm trying to remember if I used clay with this or if I used, I was trying to remember on my live if I used the clay or if I used um, the resin when I did these. Because sometimes some of the molds have so much beautiful detail that um, the resin actually is like a better option I find with some of it, like this piece right here, going into it, it looks like really tiny. All right. So not, now I'm going to just use gravity and I'm popping them out and I did not mean to get all of that in that other, so Let's see here if we can get gravity to go on this one. All right, see this. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to just take that out and throw it back in my little bag. Seal that all up over here so it doesn't dry out. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? That would look kind of cute. One on each side of the round. So I am actually, the nice thing too about this mold is that it, ha it mirrors each other. So I'm going to put some over here. Let me go do that. That'll look really good. I like it. See how everything comes together? Um... Okay, so Kim, uh, I don't know if, when this comment came through about how I was going to hang it or not, but she asked about um, how are you going to drill a hole in them to hang them or 
and I kind of covered that. So um, I probably will drill a hole depending on where I put this on here, but you could, like I said, drill a hole into the top and then do an eyelet as well. Um, Rondi said, I took you out to the barn in, I took, my goats are angry. They hate the snow and apparently it's my fault. Now that I can see the project again, it looks fabulous. Oh, <laughs> I went out to the barn with you guys or with her to feed her goats and all oh, her poor goats don't like the snow. All right. Uh, Jessica says, I just put a big DIY order in today. Yeah. You're going to love it. Um, Bert says, I love it. Hey, Paige. Thanks for joining. Okay, so let me, well, it's white on white, but here, I'll just set it temporarily on the black to give you guys a peek of what it's going to kind of look like, or my vision. And then we're going to do the other one on the other side. Okay, we did this one. It's got a, all right. Um... Debbie says, I got my order on Monday. Awesome. Guys, I can't tell you a lot because I'm still in the works, but I'm adding something new to my website and a new DIY. You guys are going to love it. So just a, a little hint. Uh, Paige says, I've been making ornaments too with those wood slices and the frames molds. Yes, I love the frames mold too. Um, so I'm trying to, oh yeah. So I was like, okay, which creator did this? Um, in my newsfeed, it showed up and I, I have a, like a really cool vintage, um, hope chest that I picked up at, I don't even know where I picked it up, but I paid like $15 for it. It was like on sale. It's a lane hope chest. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's, it's also needs work. So I wanted to, I was going to do like paint it all up. Well, I recently saw, um, this gal, her name is brushed by Brandy and she did a dresser and she took all the different frames and she put it all over the front of this dresser. It was so cool. I thought that would be so fun to do on my hope chest that I have. Okay. So this is like my vision for this, you guys. I like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and paint these though. So I think I'm going to paint the, I want to paint them ahead of time and then kind of zap them with the heat gun. <laughs> kind of zap them, you guys. All right. So uh, let's, let's talk about the flower as I'm painting these. Um, going to paint these ahead of time a little bit. So, and then try to apply them when they are the clay is still damp, but it is, they're painted. So the flower, what color do you think? Should I do marquee or should I try to, like, I don't know how the blending would go on here. I think I like marquee. Um, question, can you drill a hole into resin pieces for hanging? It looks like uh, Tara says, yes, you can, Molly. Um, Let's see here. Just got here. Are you making ornaments? Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm using um, the uh, Pennsylvania Folk stamp. I did a, that on one, which I'll show you that one. And it's drying. And then now we're using the molds on another. And it's not as easy to paint these when... The clay is wet, but that's okay. It's, I'm just doing two little ones. And really, if I just get the edges, that's really all that matters. So I think for this, I think I'm going to paint it marquee. I think the red will look really good. 
And I think afterwards, um, even if I don't get this 100%, that's okay, because I think I'm going to go over this with white wax, and it will be fine. It will take away, like, if any of the white is showing. All right. Okay, so Molly says, thank you. I just started using rosin and haven't dared to try it yet. <laughs> um, Penny says, how? Um, I don't know. Are you talking about the resin, Penny? The, the resin question? Okay. I have not tried drilling through it, but Tara, it sounds like Tara has. This is a little bit more difficult to do on this like really fine piece, but I am getting her done, guys. All right. So it's kind of drying as I am surprised because honestly, it's been so... Like with the rain that we've been getting here, oh my gosh, everything is so wet and damp. And all right, let me. Okay, let's see here. Oh, did I? Uh, here, I probably went out of. I'm trying to get it close to me so I can see. Uh, Tara says, I use my drill with a fine drill bit. Okay. Um, Darlene says, British Columbia, Canada here. I'm assuming that's what BC is. Love watching you all. Oh my gosh, Tara, don't say that. She said it's snowing there today. Oh my. Oops, excuse me. Um, oh, I lost a chunk. So I'm going to just make it work. I'm going to glue it all on. So this is like a time where you guys are seeing that not everything is absolutely perfect. Okay, this is good enough right now for this part. And let me see, I got that side. So this is the one and I will, when I mold it all together, it'll be fine. All right, let me grab this side. Oh boy, oh boy. What? Anne, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> Anne just said, we may get snow next week. I don't want to hear it. I am not listening to Anne. Oh, my gosh. No, because then the city will stop taking stuff from the yard. So I better get out there this weekend and get stuff out on that curb or out on the road from my yard. Because the city of Appleton is kind of finicky when it comes to... Um, well, obviously, if they have to bring out snow plows to get rid of the snow and there's leaves everywhere, they're not happy with it either. Oh, gosh. Debbie goes, Tara, it's snowing. It's not out here. Hopefully we won't get snow in the valley today. Ha ha. Um, Anne says, being a cross guard, I'd rather have snow than rain. Yes, I... I would as well. Oh, I get it. You don't get as wet with with this um, the snow as you would with rain. Where do you do the crossing guard on on what corner near a school? Are you at a school or are you at a intersection? Um, I just, I just. I give crossing guards so much credit because I was recently um, watched this crossing guard and people just don't <laughs> listen is a good way to put it. They just don't abide by the rules. Um, so I just feel bad for crossing guards. Okay, you guys, I got those painted. Now Mason and Glendale. Oh boy. That's busy over there. And no, they don't look. I know they're terrible. I am very, very sorry that you have to deal with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
Um, paint this. I'm going to do a little bit of, let me just put the pink in the center here. And go in with marquee on the edges. Just to add a little bit of color contrast. All right. Okay. Oh, thanks, Paige. Just realized it was my, it was your website. I found them on. Oh, all right. Yes, you guys, I just watched a video that um, Tara made on, so I have a cabin up in Northern Wisconsin and we have this deck and the deck, um, we've stained it several times and literally one year goes by and all the paint like peels off. So Tara just did her deck with milk paint and I am so excited to see about if that actually will work. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just blending a little bit of that red into the pink here. And then on the edges, I'm just gonna do that on instead of having it be like the petticoat pink, it's more of like an in-between. Okay. We got that. I like it. I'm just gonna try to, oh, look at that. Now I just hit it here. Okay, I like it. I like how it turned out. So, all right. All right, so it looks like Kim said they had originally had snow in the forecast for Halloween for us, but it looks like it's no longer there. Yeah, that's good to hear. Snow is no good on Halloween. Um, Tara says, so far it's doing great, so I'm excited to see how it holds up over winter, because if it does, I plan on doing that to my deck. Hey, Susan, that's okay that you're a little late. Um, I'm running over a tad. So I'm going to dry these. We're going to glue them on, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Um, Rhonda says, I'm late as usual. What are you making? We're making some ornaments, and we used the primitive mold from IOD. And we also used um, the stamp from the Pennsylvania Folk and made another ornament. So I'll definitely post those. I'm not sure I am totally loving the colors that I use. I'm going to definitely look for my black ink pad. And I think instead of the gray on that, I'm going to use the black. So, okay. Now let's go ahead and lay this out hopefully gonna... oh i like this i like how it pops on the white okay so even though this little piece broke off it's okay we are gonna make it work like so i really like it what do you think? I think it looks really good. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see here. How much does your handmade ornaments cost? Um, I actually haven't made these before, but the other um, rounds, I typically put like $10 on each about um, like 10 to 12. 
And then the mushrooms, I was thinking maybe six or seven dollars each or something like that. I don't, I, I was trying to think because the cost of the actual mushroom was a dollar. And then, you know, I, I know I did it on a live, but, or I mean on a video, I should say. Um, but I still, okay. I still took time to do it. So, uh, that looks cute. And I love the stamp paint stamp process. Darn, I can never seem to get here until the end. The ornament is super cute. Oh, thanks guys. That's okay. All right, I am. And then, like I, oh, well, goodness, here. All right. So now I'm going to lay that down. Kind of press that into place. I'm going to remove that. Flip it over. Actually, this one looks like it might be falling apart here, too. This um, leaf is a bit fragile. Or I always say, fragile Okay. But that's okay, because then we can just bend it how we want. All right. And, oh, stuck to me and then flew off. So we're going to put this just like so. All right, I am going to wipe my finger off. Okay, at least $6 for the handmade mushrooms. Yeah, I agree. Um, bye, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Uh, Anita watching on Facebook now. That one you are showing is pretty. That The rose. Oh, thank you. Okay. So I am going to just separate this a tad. There. All right. So now this one, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to let the clay dry completely before I go any further. Um, because what I've used so far... I just did a rough painting on all of it. And once it completely dries, I will go in. I am going to completely seal it uh, with a top coat. I will use Big Top. I'll let that dry. And then I'm thinking what I want to do is use the DIY white wax and go in. And if you guys, I don't know if you can see, this mold has all this beautiful detail here. Because I use, you know, we have the white clay and we couldn't get it just perfect anyway. So I think the white wax will be perfect to get all the detail, either white or dark. Um, but I was thinking white possibly, and we could do either or. So maybe I'll make another one and I'll do one with white and one with the dark to show you guys what the difference would be. But I am loving it. And so what I plan on doing is going in and drilling a hole here and then having it. And I think this is a really pretty ornament. So I love it. I'm so glad that my friend Becky sent me over that image and inspired me to do this. All right. I am going to go ahead and bring up the other camera. Okay. Here I am, guys. So we went a little over, but that's okay. Um, I am really loving this too. I think it it turned out really good. Um, I think there's so many possibilities um, that you could definitely do with it. And you could put your molds down first and then come back and paint after. I mean, if you're an amazing painter, um, I did that with um, the, um, the Santa. I put the mold on and then I just went in and I painted. It was fine. It, it, I mean... It, it's pretty easy to paint the molds, but um, I think it might be a little difficult with this one because of all the detail on it, but um, otherwise painting it like I did and then applying works fine too. 
So, all right. I don't have that mold, just the stamp that Crafty Kathy gave me. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, very nice of her. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, Monday, I, I actually have something else in store for you guys. So um, you guys may or may not know this, but well, I love to do all the things. I love to paint. I love to, you know, do all the different crafts. So one thing that I absolutely love to do is hand stamp jewelry. And I definitely need to make some jewelry for my booths. Um, and I specialize in making these really cute stack bracelets. And I am going to show you guys how I do it on Monday. And then I am going to put them on my website. So if you guys want to order a custom stack for yourselves or for a holiday gift, it will be available to do or that I will custom, I can custom make it right on my live. So um, something to think about. And I have some of the funnest sayings that, or if you have a saying that you want on there, um, also, um, think about like my sister-in-law she i made a stack for her with all of her kids names uh, one on each bracelet so that will be a lot of fun on monday so we'll see you guys monday friday i will have another video out for you guys over on youtube um hey bye tara thanks for joining and have yourself a great week as well all right. So that's Monday's video. We'll see you then. And thanks again for joining me today. Bye guys.